floss tube. First thing I thought I would do is show you my fur baby. This is Dana. Dana, look up here, babe. Hey, look up here. Say hi. Say hi. You're a good girl. She just had a bath, so she's all shedding like terrible. Um, but that is Dana. We think she's obviously half husky, maybe half boxer or something. But that is my fur baby. And in just a minute, I will get to the rest of the video. All right, I am back. Um, I thought I would switch up my little um, recording spot. This is my dining room. I've got a little bit more room to work with things. And if I seem like I'm whispering a little bit, my little man is taking a nap. And I thought I'd take advantage and make a video. First thing I will show you is my progress on my Chatelaine. I only work on this when Landon is playing in his jumper. But this is progress thus far. Let me see if I can get the light in here a little better. Let's see if that works. Eh, not really. But that is the very middle. It's not done yet, but I love working with the specialty threads. First time. So excited. Um, I just ordered some um, floss from Fiberlicious. I'm very excited to try it, see it, feel it, love it. Um, I got the Autumn Collection. I got Esther's Dreams and Mermaid Dreams. And I purchased the Twisted Band Sampler and the... Uh, wave one the new one that just came out so I will be using those on those two patterns very excited to try that um, the next thing I'll show you is my progress on my bookcase to heaven this is by cross stitch fantasy and I actually took it off the um, Q snap not Q snap it's the generic Hobby Lobby brand but so there is my progress on that I've got just under nine pages left on it. Again, I started April 30th on that. But I love the detail in those books. Love it. That is that. Um, I just got some packages in the mail. I bought some stuff on Stash Unload and Most Sale was selling some patterns, so I'll show you those. This one is Lady Claire by Lavender and Lace. Very pretty. I love that little swan. So cute. Next is the Spring Queen. And Garden Verses. Pretty. This is Summer's Remembered by Paula Vaughn. And there's two patterns on this that one and that one. Now, last one I got is Stroke of Midnight by Teresa Wensler. This is full of blended threads. That'll be a lot of fun. I also realized that I did not share. I ordered something a, a kit from Russia quite a while ago. But this is what I got. And of course, all the instructions are in Russian, so. Hmm. But this is her. And this is um, all a lot, a lot of blended, blended threads. So that's the chart. Um, that's what she'll look like. And the reason why I got that, she kind of reminds me of my mom when my mom was little from pictures that I've seen. Um, I thought it'd be fun. This is what it comes in. All the threads. And see, it's, it's all in Russian. Can't read it. But 
there's the breakdown of the pages what the pages indicate on the um, pattern and here's all of the floss and it is all DMC as well and there's the fabric I haven't really started it so I won't get it out but it gives you little cards that you can put the blended threads onto I'm not sure why, but it looks like knitting needles. I'm not <laughs> too sure why I would get knitting needles, but I do knit, so I'll use them for something, I guess. Um, if any of you know what that might be other than knitting needles, let me know, because I'm, I'm kind of curious. They're in these little guys. Ooh, there's a piece of paper. Let's find out what this says. Oh, wait. Yeah. Not English. I have no idea what that says. So your guess is as good as mine. Um, what else? Oh, I just bought all the beads for the um, different designs from Northern Expressions Needleworks. Very excited to try those. Um, and I was in Walmart yesterday. Didn't know, but Nicholas Sparks has a new book. I just hit my elbow. Uh, Nicholas Sparks has a new book and I didn't know it. I snatched that bugger up right away. I've read all of his books. I love them. Um, what else? Hmm. I don't even know. Oh, um, on this one, my cute little needle minder. Sure, I mentioned it before, but maybe not. This is the little bumblebee. It's very dainty, sparkly. That's from Gina. Um, when I won the other one from her, I decided to check out what else she had and I purchased that as well. I only have two. It's kind of sad. Someday I'll have more, but that's what I have so far. <laughs> Yay! You can probably hear me sniffling. Weather's changing up here in Pennsylvania. Hmm. I don't like the cold. It's not fun. But, yep, allergies are having a field day with me every year. Wonderful. Hmm, no. Um, I think that's all I had when I get uh, my fibers from um, Fiberlicious. I will share those. And I have another chart that I'm waiting on from um, the Philippines. And it's the Villa Mirabilia pattern. And I plan on changing that to say um, Villa with our last name. Um, that's supposed to be coming soon, I hope. And I have an order from 123 Stitch and Stitching Bits and Bobs. I just, oh, so much. But I heard there was a um, sale in November for one of the, any of the Celtic ladies. And I decided that I'm going to start the Celtic Christmas. Um, it's the lady in the red dress, and it says Noel. So I will be starting that, hopefully, um, on that date. And in the meantime, I will see you all later, and I look forward to watching all of your videos. Ta-ta!